followers. Yesterday we had a peaceful night at this site here called uh, Kakuma Refugee Settlement. We started the journey from uh, Kitale via Kapenguria, Lodwa, up to this point here. Stay tuned. My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. All right, welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Norris Melnozo. Today we are on the day four of our expedition, epic adventure across Kenya, which means from uh, north eastern Kenya. And today we are at a site called Kakuma Refugee Settlement. Kakuma Refugee Settlement is a site of UNHCR, which has been established since 1992. For I think it's gathered the refugee of most of this region because remember, uh, Turkana region or county is uh, the only county which is uh, which connected three countries, neighboring country, as a uh, Uganda is on the western side. Um, South Sudan is on the northern side, and Ethiopia is not far from this. is northeastern, is north our eastern side of this uh, great nation, which is Kenya. And here we are today. Uh, let me just give you a little story about uh, yesterday. Yesterday we had an amazing trip, from uh, especially from uh, uh, Kitale, and a lot of uh, mountain, the hills, the landscape, really. It was really amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, there's one thing which I've realized yesterday on our coming towards uh, by the roadside, we saw a numbers of, uh, of ant hills, which is growing uh, above the surface. Approximately, I can estimate five meters, which is, uh, it shows clearly, uh, Turkana has the beauty of its own. Despite what people are painting up as a security, uh, hardship, hunger, but it also have an attractive, really beauty which people we have to come and pay a visit and really we step in um, uh, Lodo as you know Lodo is a capital of uh, Turkana uh, county uh, to be as a capital and the speed with on which the uh, capital of Turkana has been uh, is taking really is amazing is remarkably within the shortest period of time this capital of Turkana will be an amazing city. And as you can see, if the city got already have the, the infrastructure the way it's promising and the, the airport, even I think the Boeing even landing here, we had the chance to have to have a, a spectacular view of, uh, of uh, Jesus on top of the mountain. I don't know the name of the mountain, but I think you're going to find out. Lord. Mount Lodwa. Really, it's amazing. You can't reach there. It's a become as an iconic uh, some symbol of Lodua. And I think from that upside, we'll do maybe if you have some time on our return, come back, we'll go and look, have a view of uh, the old Lodua. Even I think we're going to have a lot of uh, a view site of uh, airport of Lodua and all surrounding. So it's going to be a really amazing, amazing view on that spot there up there. And I think also uh, that particular spot, which is Lodua, capital uh, of uh, Turkana land. And also, we're missing, I think also we're going to have a lot of historical sites, which we may pay a visit. That's what that's. Today we are here, and remember, we are still continuing with our adventure towards the northwestern, which is going to be Loki Jokyo. And they call it sometime in the brief name Loki, 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 Loki. I think the full name is Loki Jokyo. Loki Jokyo is located on the northwestern uh, side of, uh, of uh, Turkana, Turkana County, and uh, it's uh, on the a1 road which is direct to uh, which is linked with the with the southern sudan i think today we're going to have a pay visit and it's going to be among the one goal achieved among the many goal achieved reaching the border point is not circumnavigation circumnavigation trip but this is also 
searching for the ebbness or middle of nowhere or remotest, the most remotest part of this beautiful country. And before proceeding far, I would like to invite one of the local guy here, which is the host of today, which with the welcome us really is not really our way of camping inside the uh, civilization area. We all prefer to camp in the bush, in the wilderness. But sometimes we have no options. When you reach, we've reached yesterday uh, after the nightfall. So we remain with no option other than look for a more, what we need is safety and maybe shelter, shower room and the other. It's not necessary really to have an hotel or luxury things because we have to make this such trip uh, easy and the cheapest trip ever compared to other tourist or safari trip. We have to make it at most, uh, the cheapest way of traveling to make it affordable to anyone. So it's not our if it's today you see the landscape or the, the hotels, it's not our way. But sometimes we remain with no option to camp because of the safety and security. And so far so good, we have a peaceful night. We can't complain and here we are with my good friend here. It's called Mr. Matthew. Mr. Matthew. Matthew, 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 Matthew yesterday saw our map. Look at the map. He saw our map, but he wanted to twist it a little bit uh, to give us another because this is the way we have to, to travel sometimes. It's very our root chart are not are not uh, fixed. It can be twisted. It can be. It must be dynamic to change according to the the better way of make it more shortest or easy path to reach the destination as we have been tackling. So you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, right. My name is Mario Alesia. Uh, I'm working in this place. This is Kakuma Guest House. Kakuma Guest House. Kakuma Guest House. Yeah. It is uh, Takuma. Kuma, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I think uh, you're going towards Lokchokyo. This is the main road now linking to South Sudan to Juba. Right. Yeah. Uh, you're so welcome. Yeah. Uh, but I'm wondering why, we will not cut you short, why I'm not seeing any sign of the South Sudanese vehicle passing here? Is there any reason behind it? Uh, Vehicle. vehicle or truck or small LAV vehicle passing. I haven't seen anything in the sign say that really this is the region which connects with South Sudan. Because there's no sign at all. Yeah. Uh, those vehicles because of uh, uh, those in a number for the South Sudanese. So most of them now to come in, uh, they're not allowed to. Why? Um, why? Uh, because now that uh, police, Kenya police, they will stab you because of that foreign number plates. Uh, when they, they bring the, but the, the refugees here, they are using these Kenyan vehicles. Oh, oh, what about because now I have, I think I've heard that uh, South Sudan is also part of East African community. Yeah. Uh, this kind of uh, segregation or marginalization, it's not really affecting that friendship or that uh, community. It, uh, Sudan is uh, part of the East Africa, yeah. uh, but not yet registered. Not yet registered. Yeah. Not yet registered. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as a part of East Africa. Also, maybe because of the, 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 the their number, their system are not really up to date. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's logic because I was really uh, surprised to see why if those people say that. South Sudan is a part of uh, part of uh, uh, East Africa, and this is the A1 road which leads to to South Sudan. Why there's no even sign of a motorcycle or a small LUV vehicle or trucks which are going to deliver the goods there? And I'm seeing the government is pouring millions of, of money here to make a good infrastructure on the road. For what purpose, or what? Oh, established yeah, there. Established yeah, there. Yeah, sure. So now, uh, because the road is being constructed, uh, we believe that it will be okay. Uh, the business is now under the lapse of focus. Uh, it's whereby we are saying this road, the pipeline, and the railway. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. That's a matter of time. That's fantastic. But, uh, Let's get back to our, 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 our topic, our JWD. Now, we, uh, as we, we showed you, uh, Yesterday, I think we let, let's come here. Come here. 
uh, according to our route plan, all right, according to our route plan, we plan to from um, Malaba, uh, Bungoma, Kitale, Lodwa, Kakuma. Right now we are here. Yeah, and it's just a matter of reaching the the Loki Chokyo, Loki border points yes. and have a detour back again on our road up to uh, I think here we're gonna come here. Yes. Uh, Kakuma, Kakuma and back to Lodwa. Now our problem, the target is also coming to sleep here. It's gonna be the, the target of today to sleep almost on the on the on the river bank of uh, Lake, Turkana Lake Turkana because of the, the sandy beaches. And here we that's the target of tonight if possible. So we're gonna celebrate and blow our thousand candles and the fireworks on the uh, shore of Lake Turkana, isn't it? So here uh, is where we are targeting. Uh, but now from here now, the day, the next day, is where we're gonna try to give up. Because now passing here, I don't have no idea now here. Because we have, have the, that's to see we put it on black, in a, in a black black uh, yeah. color, because it's not quite clear. Uh, so you from here now can tell us I what to do from, here. Uh, you are in Kakuma, Kakuma. you are going to yeah, Tokyo. Tokyo. Coming back, yes. and then to Lodwa. Yes. From here, yeah. it's where now the road going to the lake zone. Yeah. Lake, we say the lake yeah, yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cross yeah. here. Yeah. It's 55 kilometers from okay. here to okay. the lake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if you want, maybe from uh, the lake there, you cross the other side of the of the uh, Marsabit County. How do you want to cross it now? Uh, this know, there, big there, boy. Is, uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, the motorboats. Which can carry the car? Yeah. For sure? No, it cannot carry the car. Yeah. Yeah, you just register there, you leave maybe the Fioko, and then you cross the other side. No, but now our target is to move complete. Complete? Yeah. No, you have now to come back. You have now to come back as you go back to Kitale. To Kitale. So there's no by road to no, pass no, no. here. To pass the other side, you have oh. to pass at the. Oh, Kitale. Yeah, Kitale. So we have to turn back again. Yeah, then you come through the Baringo, the other side. Uh, Baringo. So yeah. we go Kitale, Kitale, mm. Marlal. Yeah, you come this for Marlal, Marlal and yeah. Bargoy. Yeah, this is Marsabit now. Marsabit County. Because we used we used to cross the yeah. uh, lake yeah, here, yeah, yeah. going to Marsabit. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. was supposed to be the shortest. If you could have a ferry, yeah. the shortest. Uh, this to, is the yeah. longest. Uh, Longest lake now from, e, okay. from Ethiopia here, yeah. you go towards near the uh, Marsabit. Now it goes like this way. This is now the from Ethiopia. Now there is uh, this one, the river Omo. Oh. Uh, the river Omo, it is the inlet for okay. the Lake Turkana. So, historical, this is the only desert lake this is in the, the world. The longest desert lake. The longest yeah. desert lake in the world. In the world. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to have it. So, I think that's it. It's gonna go, it's fall back to the, our previous route plan. I just came here, mm -hmm. and we go back Lodwa, go back to Kitale, Kitale. So the same scenery of yesterday. I think you're gonna viewers are gonna have to look at it and Marlal, Paraguay, and we continue. Fantastic. But if it could be a possibility of crossing here, it could be. Yeah. But so far so good, Mr. Kaju de Colomb. So far. I'd just like to thank our host. Yeah. Thank you yeah, very yeah. much, Mr. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank you for keeping us around. Yeah. Uh, we love this place. Uh, yes, yeah, so welcome. Yeah. If you yes. want to have, a have an hospitality, yeah. good um, accommodation, yeah. please check. I'm sure you are you're on, uh, you're on, uh, on um, Facebook. Uh, you are going. Yeah, yeah. What, what's your address on Facebook? Tell them. Uh, Tell them. Uh, Matthews Aletia. Yeah. And Matthews Aletia. Yeah. Yeah. What about your, the website of your guest house? Mm. Kakuma guest house. Kakuma, Kakuma guest house. Yeah. I've seen Kakuma guest house G at Jima. At Jima. Wow, I got this it. This is a place to rest. Of Here, course, the people, you sometimes used to paint a wrong publicity, negative publicity about Turkana. We are here. Have you ever seen any shot of the gun here? Sometimes, please don't confuse things. Uh, it is what it is, and we enjoyed it, right? Those are the Peacefully. things before. But it was before. It's... And this region here is promising that as tourists, you know, most of you Westerners and Europeans, uh, uh, maybe Asians, you think that safari in Kenya is to talk about Mombasa, the coastline, and Masai Mara Park. That's not going to be after five years. Turkana is going to be another additional on the tourist hotspot in the region. So keep it up. Thank you so much. Thanks yeah. for watching and thanks for welcoming us. You're yeah, welcome. We're together. Thank you for God and our country, Kenya. Good morning. 
Kapuma, this is 9 at 9. Right. In Kapuma. And this is Bumdi uh, Road. We used to call it in America and US in Dusty Road. Uh, outside of Kapuma, Rufiji, it's called Bumbi Road. Bumbi Road. Uh, outside of Kapuma, it's well known, but it's a uh, regional refuge in the mix. To, to compare, we're going to compare with the Uganda, that's a western Uganda, we call it uh, Nachi Valley Refuge in the mix. It's huge because uh, of its location. Uh, it's at the extreme uh, northwestern. You can see still the water uh, scarcity. It's a, it's a word of the day. Although the government, government uh, they are doing their best, but still it's not sufficient to solve the needs of all their citizens. That is a challenge. Every government. Every government. Every government. Doesn't Where? Matter. Doesn't every matter. Every government has a link of a heart. Even the US. Weak points and no, I'm, I wasn't thinking of the US. Even. No, I was thinking of Brunei. Because you left the US. I was thinking of Dubai. UAE. You left the US. We know, we know, we know when you talk about the Nevada. Nevada I'm going to give you an example of. We don't want examples, we want practical. Like this, you can see that the government is actually. No, no, no. When, you're, when we are referring to every government, my government is not like Obulangata this way. Gamende. Gamende. <laughs> There uh, are plenty of the posts. Whenever you see UNH here, whenever you see the mother of the whole international organization, UNH is around, and there's those babies, followers. Must be. Plenty of the uh, yeah, entries. Uh, uh, one vision. Uh, the 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 uh, yeah, 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 good. Yeah. 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 So it's a two hour drive to Logi, Tokyo. Are we expecting a bigger and busier place than here, as in Logi, Tokyo? Yes, I'm trying to ask my colleague in the right hand drive. I have no idea, but... Uh, but because this is just a refugee settlement, I think yeah. the Kichoke should be something serious. Not much expectance there. Yeah. But this is also a serious settlement place. Eh? And due to that, I expect to have a lot of multinational to be here. Yeah. We'll talk about Congolese, Sudanese, uh, Ethiopia, which has been affected with the Tigrayan refugees, and uh, even part of Kenya. Kenyans, maybe. Who are suffering in the Turkana's war. Yeah, why not? You know, this Turkana area, there are people maybe conflicting the tribe, blah blah blah, so it's better we go to the camps, uh, uh, refugee settlement, and maybe. So this, it's, it's called Karachi. It's a really an enormous. It's called Tarach. Tarach. An empty. An empty bridge. Yeah, but it rains are uh, seasonal here when, when they rivers. come. Yeah, when they come, yeah. then you can't even cross this uh, bridge because the water yeah. is really. Uh, it's going to become yeah, impenetrable.
Mm. But the problem is that Mr. Ren can come here and just on, once on a big day. Yeah, it comes either yeah. once or twice a year. And when he comes, he really comes. He comes with his children. With his grandchildren, with his I get and, uh, uh, you know, uh, it. You say? When this rain comes, it comes with the children, and grand grandchildren, uh -huh. the brooms, uh -huh. the motor for pounding granites, uh -huh. saucepans, uh -huh. plates and knives. Uncle. Yes, all these ones. Okay. <laughs> So this water, this water flows to Karamoja. Yeah, yeah. What? Hey, what Karamoja. Yes. This one. Yes. This one. The water wanted to take us. Yes. This is the water that wanted to take us. Now, now. Take away. Take away. So sad. So sad. Apology. Take away. Breaking news. The two cows, which just now was tried their luck to cross the river. But I think today, it was one of them was a day to return to the heaven, heaven father. Just close the right now the river, and the water, the power, the pushing factor of the water, did not permit one to successfully cross the river, and we just got the news now. To pass, how do you call it? To pass away or die? Run away with water. Run away with water, it's so sad. I think even the owner of the cow right now is not in a good mood because he lost a piece of wealth. Karamoja, the, I've told you last time that Karamoja live for cows and Karamoja dies for cow. My biggest worry is the guy, the owner of the cow, to not commit suicide because this is their culture. Live it for cow, huh? dies for cow. Oh, I've heard again the sad news. Two of them died. It was a big risk taken, but now, unfortunately, all of them have gone. So, so sad. Lost the cow, Karamoja culture, cow, they live for cow, and does, dies for cow. So, Itakoi, Itakoi, very sorry for the owner, but this is how they're just crying, really, it's a big, big loss for a cultural pastor, pastor nomad, which was, you never know how many, how long this cow was been taken to make it where it is, how many years of effort, endless effort of keeping cow, the cattle keepers, you wake up early morning, pushing it to the water, even just now, has been pushing it to take a water. After taking the last water, the Leicester drinking water, that was the last for them. All of them, last, there was the last supper and they have been taken. I don't know where they, they're going to end with this water. I don't think maybe end up on the River Nile. It's so sad. Even we feel like we are very sorry for what really happened because we just saw, less than five minutes, the cow, the two cow was here. Look at the video. And those two, I thought even one survived, but unfortunately, they didn't. And this is what has made the news of the day so sad. And then we just got now from 10 PSA, those guys, the cattle keepers, the Karamojong, who live for cow, guys for cow, are crying with tears. I can't believe it's possible for those people. Better lose any, anything else but not a cow. It's really so sad, please, brother. Apologize and empathy for the brothers which have lost their cows. So we're gonna get them. You've witnessed Tam, my brother here, who witnessed as well what just happened. So sad. Oi ta oi arunoje, aruno da da. Ato na robong ay teng oi ta oi ka boriga iwa iburinya. This is this is the condolences to my brothers because I know how much they treasure cows. Imagine somebody of about 32 years have, having only two cows. He tells you that that is only what he had. 
But because of lack of patience, they had to force the cows to cross, and the cows couldn't manage to swim. So sad for them, our condolences, may them get stronger, God will reward them and give them more cows. <laughs> That's it, but I think really it's uh, very serious and uh, it's so sad because we never know maybe I've been planning for preparing the dowry to go and admire a beautiful, a beautiful, a beautiful. But now they have to go to start again from the scratch. Starting from the scratch. Starting from the square one. It's not an easy thing. So sorry, so sorry. Our condolences to the victim. We are very sorry. Water, what you have done, we will not forgive you. Thank you. Now, now, eh? Yeah. If, you, if you go to what, uh, what is that one called? Can you remember? The what? The water, the water. The, the, the name of the water. The river. The river, I cannot remember. So, but what I have heard But this you. is the same exactly. map that it flows up to there. Because so we, it, it we, flows to. Exactly. Okay, not from. No, it flows to our through our Karamoja rivers. We okay. have the same then basin the river. Basin river. So the whole of this place can be swamp. You will not pass here. That's why you see they are trying to their best to make sure that they can be they flooded I mean. create a lot of uh, these bridges to try and water yeah, down yeah. and suppress the, the, the So this can be another Butiaba also. I think so. Butiaba style. So, as I say this is in a flat low land. Yeah. Uh, so you can see all this There are disadvantages and the advantages of this situation whereby in a long period of time they are free from this disturbance of the water flooding while they also suffer with the drought. Exactly. So it is both yeah, just they, like they need it and when it comes to look and it can also be very effective. Effective. Just like the way you said yesterday that we don't respect you because of your grey hair. And other who said that? You. you are the one who said because I said ah, so no, this is, ah, this is yeah. your you saying. No, not me saying. You say you are claiming. Saying. Where is the written claim? Because you, you know when you claim, you have to write it down. Who said that uh, you say? And submit. And submit. <laughs> and you're not saying that we don't respect you, and yet I respect you more than anybody respects you. But because you went through the Are you accusing because me because or you are? I'm supplementing. Okay, up to. Did you shave this morning? Huh? Uh, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I just trimmed. Because I want to look. I no. wanted to say bye bye to Afsa, but unfortunately, purposely. You know how he deliberately. For him, he doesn't wish should eat meat. <laughs> Whenever you eat bone, he's very happy. Yeah, that's for sure. He prefers meat for a person without the teeth. Yeah. We call them two legs, two, four, two, two wheel drive. Day number what? Five. Hmm? Five. Day number five across Kenya. Morning. Last day of of facing the north line at nine. North, yeah. Twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two. Overland trip. We are cruising in the desert. I wish you, my brothers, the success of the day. I wish you good health and the other protectors. Amina, we can Help each other. Subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.